Hello from Windward Walls. Um, I am back down in this area today after my shoot my travel um, session yesterday which we came here and some of the photos are just amazing and I can't wait to share them with you. But basically this whole area um, was the um, kind of the brainchild of Tony Goldman from New York. So basically he was responsible for Soho up there and he wanted to revitalize this area in 2009 and when he kind of looked around he realized that it had a heap of warehouses and most of them didn't have windows so he thought that they'd be great as blank canvases and then decided to come up with that this concept and just really really quickly hold on hold on hold on hold on Shit, yeah can you see that in the background yeah that's someone wearing an umbrella as a hat yeah that's good yeah i like that anyway so basically um he turned it all into um blank canvases and um They've done that, so in this area they're all done by famous artists and um, they pretty much stay put as they are. Um, outside this walled area, um, there's heaps of great street art and graffiti all over the walls over there, um, but that gets replaced um, every year, usually around the time of the Basil Art Show, which happens down at South Point Beach. Um, yeah, so anyway, welcome to Windward Walls. I will take you on a really quick look around at some of the ones that I like. That one's quite cool. And there's one over here, hold on. So this one is done by the guy who designed Justin Bieber's album cover, which I'm sure makes you really excited. This one, however, is really amazing. And basically it's a whole heap of cutout details that the artist has layered um, upon each other on top of the wall. So if you go up really close, which I'm going to take you to do, you can actually see that it's all like cut out and, and lined and stuff. Anyway, I just want to show you uh, around Windward Walls and uh, I hope you're all having a really great day and I am now off to uh, check out some more street art and then I'm going to go um, maybe have another Cuban coffee and then um, go soldering. So I will talk to you later.